Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. Please follow the housekeeping rules which is to click on the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and leave comments in the section below. If you're one of my esteemed returning subscribers, Karibu, Akwaba, welcome back. We we'll always appreciate you. Today, a devastating news story. Um, I guess uh, I could say most of us dream of winning the lottery um, and when we play the lottery, um, we actually pray to win um, unlike Daniel Hussein um, who actually signed a pact um, to kill six women every six months um, a pact he believed he was signing with the devil um, something that could be uh, taken out of a Nollywood Nigerian Nollywood movie he signed a pact in blood with what he thought was a devil to enable him win the lottery um, and his, um, uh, what he decided to do was to, his oath, blood oath he took was to sacrifice six women every six months to enable him win the lottery. So, a teenager, Daniel Hussein, is accused of killing Nicole Smallman, 27, and her half-sister, Biba Henry, as they celebrated Biba's 46th birthday in a park. Miss Henry was stabbed eight times, and Miss Smallman was stabbed 28 times. Hussein, who unfortunately cut himself in a savage attack, then dragged their bodies into the bushes and leaving his DNA and blood at the scene as the old Bailey heard. When the UK police tracked him to his home using CCTV, they found three lottery tickets inside a note in his room promising to sacrifice six women every six months. The note signed with his name and using his blood as ink read Agreements for the Luciferage Rofocal. Perform a minimum of six sacrifices every six months for as long as I am free and physically capable. Sacrifice only women. Build a temple for you. Do everything that I have promised. For me to win the mega million super jackpot to receive fruitful rewards in return for the future sacrifices I make to you. The rewards could consist of wealth and power, to never be suspected of any of the crimes by the police, and also that the police will never know of any of the crimes that I have done and I will do. However, as it turned out, the demon did not come good with the bargain, because not only did the police find out about the crimes he's committed, he didn't win the lottery. What a twat. The sisters are daughters of the Church of England's first black female Archbishop, Wilhelmina Smallman, and they had been celebrating there with friends. They decided to stay on after guests left, listening to music and dancing under the fairy lights. Loved ones became concerned after they failed to return home and friends went back to the park to search. Police were alerted after the sunglasses were found. The following day, one of their friends, Adam Stone, found a bloodstained kitchen knife and was then shocked to discover their bodies intertwined and hidden in undergrowth. Hussein had cut himself during the attack, leaving his blood and DNA evidence on the bodies and their footwear and the bottles of wine they were drinking. The combination of forensic evidence and CCTV footage um, brought the police to him. Days after the killings, the court heard Hussein, the idiot, bought 10 mega million bets and 2 mega million syndicate bets, having set up an account in advance. Now, for those who are not in the United States, mega millions is a lottery that can, you can win up to a billion dollars. Um, but in some cases, you have to join a syndicate because you have to be physically present in the country. Um, it seems this idiot thought, maybe he'd watched too many Nigerian satanic ritualistic movies, and he thought that by signing um, a pact in blood, that he would get away with it. Um, I don't know what drives young people to believe that they can do things like that. 
Now imagine the horror of finding or discovering that your two grown daughters, 127 and 146, have been brutally murdered by this chap just so he could win a billion dollars on the lottery, which he never did. I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Um, my condolences, my sincerest and deepest condolences go out to the family. Um, but to this, this young man, one has to wonder. Um, this bears all the hallmarks of a 21st century Jack the Ripper. Because imagine, he planned to sacrifice six women every six months for as long as he was free and as long as he was not arrested. Now, could you imagine what would have happened if he had not been arrested? Give it five years. He would have obviously been killing and killing and killing until he got stopped. Wow. That is absolutely shocking. So, um, what do you think about this? Do you think he was mentally deranged? What possible defense would he have? He would probably come up with that insanity plea. What do you think should happen to this young man? For what he planned to do, not only what he did, but what he plans to do. I think the book should be thrown at him. It should be locked away. Thankfully, in the UK, they don't have the death penalty. Anyway, that is me for today. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below. Let's have a discussion. Peace, one love. Till the next video, stay safe. God loves you.